picked Our Lady of Holy Cross College for several reasons, but one of the most important reasons was that it was a small university. The classes are small enough that teachers know your face and they know your name, and they're always there to help you and push you to be more successful. It's more of a community that is our school, one that I, I want to say is more like a family because everybody around the campus is there to help you. That's, that's their main purpose, and they'll tell you that no matter how many times you ask them. You know, even though I'm busy, come to me. We can talk. That's teachers, that could be the president of the college, that's anybody on the university is really helpful and is trying to benefit you to do well. The remaining hydroxyls, if it's on the right hand side of the molecule. That's, this, that's a hallmark of, of smaller colleges, is that, that contact, that, that small size gives those students which need that extra reinforcement to be successful. I came to Holy Cross for open house and they took me on a tour. I really appreciated that. It was a campus that I could actually navigate around, that I don't need a tour guide or a map. The first year that I came here, I really didn't know anybody and I didn't pick Holy Cross just because all my friends were going here. I picked it because I really felt like it was an important um, move for me. I usually take about 16 hours at a time. I also do things on campus. So I'm pretty much here all the time. <laughs> I joke around with people and tell them that I should put a tent outside and just kind of live in the parking lot because I'm always here. <laughs> but I mean, I like it like that. At Our Lady of Holy Cross College, we do not have many art majors. Most of our students are more practical, taking business or nursing. But what the art does is it opens up a new possibility to something that they'll have when they go through life. It involves the whole self when you're dealing with art. It involves your mind, your body, and your spirit. I am student government president, which I think opens up a lot of doors because um, not only am I making relationships with people at the school, I'm also making relationships with people in the community. For Easter, we're doing an Easter egg hunt, and we're going to have the Easter Bunny there to take pictures and, you know, fun little things, spacewalks. Because when I think back as a child, what was my favorite thing? I hope that one of them would say, oh, when we went to the Our Lady of Holy Cross Easter egg hunt. It's around, it's open, because I know in a lot of schools, you know, they don't have mass every day. We have that here, which I think is important to me. But at the same time, if you're not Catholic, you're not bombarded with religion. When I actually walk across the stage, it's going to be probably one of the happiest moments in my life, just because I struggled a lot in high school, and I kind of didn't care, you know typical high school student, like starts and ends in high school. And when I came to college, I really straightened up and realized that life begins here and now. So I think that it'll probably be extremely emotional. And I'm trying to not to get emotional right now um, when I do graduate. So I think that it'll be emotional because, you know, all those people always believed in me and knew that I could do well. And I just never saw it. So I think it'll just... I think it would just be a big moment. People here, not only students, but faculty have come become my family, which is going to be a good thing that I graduate, but it's going to be kind of sad, too. At bigger universities, you're more of just a student number, whereas here, you're more of a name and a person. And everybody really knows you for who you are and not for just what's your student number.